Well, hello and welcome back, everybody. Monkey DKS here, and I am on the Monkey Mines <coughs> server uh, in our creative uh, map because we are running multiverse, so we have a few different maps running at the same time. Um, and I have made a somewhat strange creation. Um, I'm I want to do some science today. I have some questions, and I'm not sure about the answers, and and no matter what, people keep giving different answers, and I got a reply on one of my videos yesterday that was that was specifically targeted at this, and I just, I keep hearing two different answers. So I decided it's about time that we figure this out. What I want to know, do you get more saplings from leaves that decay naturally, or leaves that you break as a player? And so what I did is I set up two, uh, I don't know, leaf farms. They're not really anything. Um, and I have water sources over ice. So it's hard to see that there's ice under here, but there is ice under here. Um, you can see it on the side. So that, so that uh, all the saplings will zoom down. I did a couple of tests. It was uh, with without the ice, which is what, how I had it originally. It took uh, 2 minutes and 14 seconds for a sapling to get down here. With the ice, it took 21 so what I'm going to do is, between these two, I have a natural and I have a, a manual, I guess I'll call it, um, farm. And what I'm going to do is, using world edit, I'm going to hit the up button. I'm going to replace log with zero. So that these leaves will start decaying, and they're already going. And they're going to drop down. And while that happens, let me get out of F1 here, I'm going to come over here. Put myself into survival. I I enchanted the heck out of this pick, and I I have every intention of probably busting. Through. I should mention I have no saplings on me in my inventory. Um, it's okay if I catch some because it'll end up in the same place anyway. So far, I'm sure not seeing a lot. Oh, there's an apple. Did not account apples into my scientific equations. That one dropped an apple and a sapling. So I am busting up leaves. I'm making science here, people. I don't know if it's accurate science. I should also tell you how many leaves I have here. The uh, farm is, uh, what did I do, 63 blocks long and three wide. Okay, I just tried to fly. Oh, darn it, I'm going in the hole. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with the hole. So far I have 17 saplings. Now I can't get too close over here, but let's see what I got here. So I do have a bunch there. I I won't I won't get too close. Let's um I didn't plan for this, but let's put a chest here. All of my saplings and sandstone go in there. Nothing new yet. So that's probably the total over there. Not getting too close here. I'm up to 11. And 189, I just did a quick calculation, uh, is the total number of leaves in this farm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this, uh, run this test a couple times, and I don't, oh, I'm in the ceiling. I don't, uh, I don't see any more. Let's just make sure none of them are hovering around here somewhere. I'm also going to make this map available. Um, I'm going to pull out all that crap, but I will take this and, and probably put it into a different map. And these are almost all decayed, which is good. Well, I do know that you sure don't get a lot of them. Uh, there goes one right there. Look how fast it goes on the ice. It zooms right along. It's kind of fun to watch. Okay. 
So I'm going to let the rest of these decay. I'm going to pause the recording, and uh, I will let you know what the results are. So if a player puts leaves down, um, if they get them from, what is it, Silk Touch? Do you get it from Silk Touch, or do you get it from Shears? I don't remember. Uh, but if you put it down, especially if you're in creative, uh, player-placed leaves will not decay. Uh, so I assume these three leaves, they're the only three left on the whole strip. Uh, I assume I, I put those when I wasn't paying attention by hand. Um, but we'll assume that doesn't mess up the test too much. I reset this side already. I'm going to do five tests. I got rid of the pick. It was an efficiency three, unbreaking four. Uh, strike that and reverse it. Efficiency four, unbreaking three. Um, but uh, but as you can see, on the manual side, I got 17 saplings and 5 apples. On the natural side, I got 13 saplings. And even accounting for just randomness, I think uh, the, the numbers just don't feel right to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to... Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to punch over here. And punch over here. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Word, World Edit, uh, you use what's called a wand. I think I actually wand too low, but it doesn't really matter for the test. Um, and you right-click, uh, excuse me, left-click for first position and right-click for the second position. And then you type slash slash set uh, leaves. No, that one is log. Say hi to Jason. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the leaves. I'm just putting a block so I don't actually change my real blocks. And then slash slash, nope, let's try it again. Set leaves. So there's how I set that because I cannot place them. Uh, and then I'm going to cheat slightly. Put a log right there. Or a block right there. First position, second position, fall down, copy it, paste it, and now I am reset. So now I'm going to select from here to all the way over here, which I did before I started filming the the first one there, and I type slash slash replace log with zero, which is air. And that will start decaying and already dropping saplings. I don't have any saplings on me. Let's double check that there's nothing hiding in it anywhere. No, nope, inventory is empty. Uh, so then I'm going to go over here and change myself. And then I'm going to punch. And I will be back when I'm done. So it'll take a little longer. Well, Jason just came on. And uh, I put him directly to work. He's punching leaves on that side for me. Ow. I'm actually in creative. Quick, quick, what a one. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, that's gonna mess up the test. Okay, well, let's let's figure that out. I got the other side going again. This is test number three. For those who are interested, I'll give you the results at the end. Science is hard. <laughs> it's okay. So now we've we've worked out. We can't just punch through the middle, which I almost did on the first one, and I just didn't do it by accident. Um, and so now we are punching the correct things. The other side's doing pretty good. It's almost done. Um, it doesn't look like I have any manually placed leaves this time. So, uh, we're doing alright. So we're, this is, once again, still test three. Uh, and I will give you the results after the next two tests. We'll see what happens. My help went AFK. He should know better. I mean, it is creative, so it's not like this actually matters. But it's the darkest. Anyway. I really like the way this, 
this whole machine machine, I call it a machine. There's no redstone at all, but I like the way this whole setup looks. It's kind of pretty. So, I have now completed 10 tests. I have no idea if I have correctly um, worked this out so that I actually have the right numbers. I have no idea if I have correctly followed the uh, scientific method or even logic, but this all makes sense to me. Um, I said I was going to come back after five tests, but I did the math and I realized that uh, I was really close, so I wasn't sure what if I was right or not. So I, I, I went ahead and I did ten tests. I moved the, the chests. They were there. I, I now have them lined up over there. Um, I made a Google document, and I will put the link right here. Oh, I can't put the link in the video. I'm not going to put the link there. The link will be in the description. You can only link to videos and other YouTube things in, inside the YouTube videos. Um, but I made it public, and I put my results with the 10 tests. There's room for me to do 25 tests. So uh, by the time you watch this, I may have done more. Probably not soon, though, because I'm going to go ahead and get back to my Let's Play. But I really wanted to know this. So let's look at some numbers. Um, over here for natural decay, and I'm going to put the numbers up on the screen. Um, I tested total 1,890 leaves. For natural drops, I got 176 saplings and 17 apples. So, as far as percentages goes, for saplings, that's 9%. For apples, that's 1%. If I combine the two numbers, I get 193 drops of something out of the 1,890 leaves, and I get a 10% drop rate for natural decay. And again, all of these numbers are on a Google Doc. You can go look at it um, and see if it makes sense to you. Um, I'm terrible with math, but I'm great with, uh, with spreadsheets, so I can't center this. This is frustrating. Okay. For manual decay, these are the ones that I punched, and by the end I was just punching. Uh, I, I used the, the axe once, but I actually think maybe now, looking at the rest of the results, it, it might, not have been, uh, might not have been wrong. Uh, it was just a, a low number on one side. Um, but for manual drops, I once again, I tested 1,890 leaves. That's still true. The saplings dropped 180 times. The apples dropped 20 times. So for saplings, it's a 10% drop rate. For apples, it's a 1% drop rate. Altogether, manual dropped 200 items, both apples and saplings, and altogether an 11% drop rate. So when you look at the two, between... Um, between manual on the left and natural on the right. Between natural on the left and manual on the right. It's 11% manual drops, 10% um, uh, natural drops, and it's a 7 drop difference, 7 item difference. So it's really, really close. So call it... 2,000 leaves, uh, sorry, 1,900 leaves and 200 drops each is really what it is. So I am going to say with some certainty that it doesn't matter if you punch it or if you let them decay. So I'm going to go back to punching it because it makes my life so much easier and it's faster. Um, but like I said, I may run more tests later, and I'm going to leave some space here so that I can put new numbers up if I have new numbers, uh, if I've run more tests. And, uh, and I, I hope this makes sense. I hope I get a lot of comments on this saying, uh, yes, you did this right, and not a whole bunch of comments saying, you're an idiot, why didn't you do this? If I get a lot of those comments, I may put another video up. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this puts this argument to bed. Um, maybe somehow and uh and this was a lot of fun for me it's been something that's been really bothering me for a while and i'm like there's got to be an easy way to test this and of course i came up with the most complicated way i could think of um but special thanks to world edit uh special thanks to jason Staub for coming and helping me punch some leaves for a while and uh 
thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Minecraft science. Whee! Also, since I'm already in the creative world, um, I thought some of you may be wondering what this giant, ugly obsidian monstrosity is. Um, and what it is, is it's actually a, a, a test facility, um, really with no purpose to it whatsoever. And I think you just got a glimpse of it through the hole. Um, but when the new World Heights came out, we decided, well, this could be fun, because Bebop Vox did this with one stack of TNT on his uh, video when the snapshot came out. And uh, we said, I want to see what happens with a whole bunch. But we have a lot of redstone here, so we wanted it to be safe. Ooh, I fell down. I beat it. <laughs> so that is what a 256 block tall TNT explosion looks like. But anyway, once again... Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.